Welcome to today's lesson, which is natural versus human made pencil drawings. We're going to do our first step in this project, which will involve needing to find some reference photos or take our own reference photos so that way we have images to draw from. So for today, you're going to submit a Word document or pages document that looks something like this that has your four reference picture images organized on the one page. This project is inspired by artist Georgia O'Keeffe, who is known for doing large scale paintings of very closely cropped in natural objects like flowers, bones of animals, things like that. To get started, if you are taking your own reference photos, then go around your home and look for objects that are natural objects and objects that are man-made or human-made objects. What I'm doing next is I am cropping into each of my photos using a square format and zooming into the most interesting part of the composition. I'm looking for parts of the objects that are showing good contrast, that are showing shape, and form and different values and I'm looking for repetition here and I'm looking for good positive and negative space. As I go through the pictures that I took of the various objects in my home that I might want to draw, I'm also being selective about which ones I choose to edit. I'm only going to be picking four images. I'm going to be picking two natural objects and two human made objects. So with this image here, on the top of your crop screen in your iPhone or uh, iPad device, there's an icon next to the three dots where you can select to use a square format. So I'm using that and then I'm selecting a black and white filter. Because we're gonna be doing pencil drawings, it's helpful to look at your images in black and white. So same thing here, clicking that icon in the upper right hand corner selecting square format and zooming and cropping into the most interesting part of the composition. If one of your filters makes your image look too dark, then you should tap the uh, light icon. It's a little dial to the left of the filter icon and switch over to brightness and bring your image up so it's brighter. So that way you can clearly see the highlights and shadows in different shapes. So making a decision on a final image that I'm going to use, again, cropping this in in a square format, zooming into an interesting area that has interesting positive and negative shape. And then I am filtering it with black and whites and then brightening it a little bit by bringing the brightness levels up. Now these are ready to be put into our Word document or pages document. If you are not going to be taking your own reference photos, then you can do a Google image search. Try to stay away from photos that are too small or pixelated or watermarked. Remember, you have to find two natural object photos and two human-made object photos. When you go to Google, type in your search term with the term photography, you're going to find some more artistic images that way. When you select over two images, set your search settings by going to tools and looking for uh, images that are reusable. Scroll through and select images that are closely cropped in already, and then you can save them directly to your device. Try not to screenshot your photos, but press and hold the large photo and save it directly to your iPad or phone, whatever device you're using. Try to stay away from pictures that are pixelated, too small, um, you just want to have a nice clear image to work from. So I typed in search for sneakers since this is a uh, human made object and I typed in a search for guitar and I'm selecting a part of the guitar that is uh, zoomed in. So for each of these photos you're going to do the same thing. You're going to crop them into a square format and you are going to turn them into black and white and brighten them as needed so that way you can see all the different values. You don't want the photos to look like they are just all one shade of gray. This photo in particular is very grainy so I didn't use it. 
try to zoom and crop into your image so that way you're finding good positive and negative space. You want it to really take up the full square. And again, make sure it's bright enough that you can see what you're doing. In order to submit your assignment for today, you will need to put your reference photos together on one document page. You can use Word, Google Docs. I am using Pages for iPad. So in Pages, all you have to do is make a new document and click the plus sign and then click photo video. And then you can import your photos and drag them and scale them to the right size. I am creating an alternating composition where that way you can see one human made object um, next to a natural object and then this can get exported and saved to your device so you can upload to Schoology.